Hey there everyone, this is Al Cal playing Lama Lama 2. So, yesterday ended with me thinking about the Colossal Dragon's Neck. Now, the reality is, when I ended my recording session, I was extremely ready to just kind of leave it there. Like, I figured, well, at some point there's probably gonna be a tablet that gives me a little bit more context, right? But, well... It's very rare that you play video games in a vacuum because people, you know, start saying things like now there's a big, you know, big boy puzzle and a friend told me, you know, this is like a very common bottleneck. Which kind of told me that, okay, so what you're saying, uh, there's not going to be a tablet just pointing out exactly what they mean. I'm gonna have to actually investigate. And considering I had the evening to myself yesterday, I thought, alright, let's try and figure it out. And I'm pretty sure I did. I wish it wasn't done, I wish my investigation wasn't done off camera. But in a se- Hey, the wheel of, uh... The wheel thing is, um, the map of the blood stuff. Anyways, blood corridor. Um... Yeah, I wish, like, it was on camera, but, like, it was over the span of a little bit over an hour, just kind of off and on looking at stuff. So, the best I can do is, that, is at least go over my process. And basically, it all started out with, is this just me, or are dragons barely ever mentioned in this entire series? Like, they speak about a whole lot of mythological stuff, but dragons are just never mentioned. They're just not a thing. So I opened up all of my notes, like all of them, on the talk house thread, just had them all open completely. And then I basically control F dragon. See how many hits I have for the word dragon. I had, out of all the text in all the game, eight or nine. Half of them were as describing Nidhogg as this fierce, powerful monster that you need to not mess with. One of them was my signature on a talk house. One of them was uh, the scan information for when I scanned the little dragon statues at the shrine. And there were two full other mention of dragon, both essentially saying the exact same thing I think I... yeah. Uh, something about... Um, the Infernal Fiend is biting... Uh, has been into the Colossal Dragon's Neck, making one, or like forming one being. That's about it. Those are the two things you gotta go about. So that meant, like, basically one of two things to me. Either there's gonna be a dragon like a dragon focus, focus later, which, again, I feel I wouldn't be in the same situation. Or when they're talking about a dragon, they're being me metaphorical about something. I don't really remember any dragon decorations in the walls or anything. So, they might be in something else. Maybe they're talking more about the biting part. I don't know. Put a pin on this. While I was looking around, um, okay, so first of all, there's one thing I want to put into, into focus here. I just want, I'm just going here so that everyone has the same information in mind. Let's just take a wild second to go here where it says monster jaw. Okay, here it says monster's jaw. This is the jaw of the monster, you know? So if the mouth is here, and it's also the same room over... Um, oh, I'm just gonna go there for demonstrative purposes. Right, so this silt monster's jaw. You could say that maybe underneath is the belly. That's where, you know, and then underneath is where I need to fall into the ground. So, keep that in mind. Change of track. While I was looking, I was pouring through all of the, through all of the, the, my notes, like, beyond just looking at dragons, I was looking everywhere, and I, I, I saw something very interesting. So, I did make a big thing, a mention, like, you know, I mentioned it a few times, but ever since, ever since, uh, Yum 2, 
I go with the idea, you know, the, the notion that there is never anything that's there for no reason. Everything has a purpose. Everything is meaningful. Keep that in mind. And so that's when I thought I saw a very interesting uh, panel. Uh, how do you get there? I guess you need to jump from where the fairy's at, huh? That's fine, I guess. Oh, I got a soul to heal. Well, that's nice. Don't really need it. That's nice. Is there, like, something here? Can you not read the... Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I guess that's just to tell you that that's something I'm looking at Nushi. Alright. Alright, well, anyways, point is, I thought I saw a really weird uh, tablet, and I believe that it is over here. Look at these dragons. This tablet here. Let's read it again. Where is this? Isn't that just kind of wild? Like how nothing it is? But look at something. Look at from where it becomes. Every, 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 everything in this, in this, in this place is written by either a first child or a sixth child. There are two things written by the Olympian. One is describing the sun disk, and the other one is this one. Where is this? But like, in these three words, in that little annotation there in the corner, like, this might sound ridiculous, but it actually tells a complete story. Basically, once upon a time, you had this Olympian guy, you know, this third child, this miling about, and somehow he ended up in some kind of hole, or a door, or a warp. Something happened that made me him go from the Heaven's Labyrinth to here. There's some process he went into, and he didn't expect it, and he was afraid, and was like, well, what's going on? And, you know, it just so happens that I'm looking into a way to potentially go into a weird spot in Heaven's Labyrinth. And you're like, so, like, just kind of put this together. You got the monster's jaw that would be biting into the shrine, and there's someone, like, you know, so, like, sort of like a minute, and this would be, this kind of looks kind of like a dragon. It, it's, uh, it's very abstract. But that's, I think, that's how we're supposed to look into it. Like, you've got the torso, I guess that could be the, the, like we're at, like all the way up the long neck. Got the hand underneath, like the weird triangle, like off, like disconnected areas, kind of like the wings. It's the monster biting the shrine. The shrine itself is the colossal dragon. And over here, someone used this passage to accidentally go between the heaven's labyrinth and uh, What's his face and this shrine? Am I correct? Yo! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh man. Now, the reality is I probably wouldn't have went through all of this had I not not known this was a complicated puzzle. Because when when I hear that something is a bottleneck, when it's something that stumps a lot of people, I understand that it's not something that's necessarily mechanical to do. I understand that it means that I need to pay attention to something subtle, or weird, or think outside of the box. So, is playing with the assumption that something's gonna be weird about this? Like, can I say that it was blind? Because otherwise, I just would have kept on going. I don't know the solution to that. I'm happy I knew that this was important, so that I could do something and did something. And like, I was like... 90% sure that I was sure, so I did this with confidence, but yeah. That is so cool! <laughs> so, basically, point me that this is a big puzzle, and I'm gonna put on my big puzzle boots. 
And this is what is gonna happen. And I got the Cog of Antiquity right here. I know three places I can put it in. Uh, there's the Immortal Battlefield, which I think is gonna let me fall in the big pit. And I'll unlock that one shield. Uh, shield. Not shield. Box. I can't work good. There's that place in the shrine. Wow, you're really useful, Zelpud. Like, there's the shrine that's gonna probably open a path to the room underneath that I did not have yet access. And there's a Tower of Malice, which is gonna activate all the bosses. And, uh, that's probably gonna be a full cool thing. Um... And now I'm not sure what I want to do. Like, I'm just afraid that the cog is gonna be a whole thing. My plan was to do this, and then work on the puzzle here, on the Anubis Riddles, so I guess I'm gonna do that. No reason not to. Right, so yesterday I got a thing where the, trans the first translation didn't work. I never... So, I know that red doors lead around, and blue doors return you to the start. What does green door mean? I never went from a green door. See, now it's red. Is it just because it cycles? Does it cycle? Now it's just red. Is it sometimes... That's weird. If I re-teleport here, is it gonna turn green again? Is it a once-in-a-while kind of thing? I need to pay more attention to that, I feel like. So, anyways, hi! Hey there, everyone. This... My name is Aokao on the internet. And, um... Uh, I don't know who I am or what I'm doing. That's pretty tragic. Yeah, so Precipice! That's one of the clues I haven't really tried. And I mean, so the precipice is like the edge of a cliff, right? There's one place, there's one cliff edge and this stupid area that I hate because you keep slipping off of it. And so my mind, my brain's like, that's totally it, probably, maybe. Well, I just, I just think it makes a whole lot of sense if it was. Where's my katana? There it is. I did it. I found the big sword. I don't know why I was bothered by that so much. So I think there's a puzzle related to sliding down here. Right in the spikes. But what? You know, like, that's a question. Yeah, you're blue. You're gonna bring me back out. Hmm. Well, that sure isn't doing much. I just land on this ground here and nothing really happens to the... Dang it! Well, I'm having fun. I mean... Could be. Like, I think you have a straight drop on the extreme right of the screen. Dang it, it doesn't matter. So, maybe that's it. From the very top to the very bottom. It's worth a shot. Well, let's go from the very top of us, like, all the way here. Yo! Precipice of Doom! Well... I didn't get a ding -a ling I'm holding left! I'm holding left! I'm holding left, I swear! No, when I... when I did the thing here... It, it did the tune. Uh, dude, why can I just not play? Also, something about the ice. That clue I still don't really understand. Well, I'm in the area, so let's go check, I guess. Yeah, that's the thing I did, but yeah, I didn't get any new thing a ding a ding here. What? 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 No, wait, what?
Um. Oh. So when they say R, they mean literally us, as in literally the lasers. Well, look, ma'am. <laughs> look! <laughs> it happens. God damn it! Uh, why am I mucking around here? I need to, like, get out of here and save. Well, I mean, this took, like, five seconds to do. Like, once you know where it is, like, it's not hard. I can just solve the other rizzle and come back and just solve it here. Ugh. Precipice, I need to fall somewhere. But where? What do you mean? So that's two of the riddles that are actually on that side of hell. So yeah, I'm thinking it's on um, not this guy, but the other one. Alright, red eyes, not green. I'm holding left! I'm holding left, I swear! Precipice! You screw up my precipice. Grand What? 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 <laughs> what happened? <laughs> that, was that it? Was that what I was supposed to do, but it just kind of broke? <laughs> oh, if that brings you pleasure, my friend. Uh, feels like I didn't really solve things. Things just kind of happen. Well, I had the right idea. Precipice, yeah, you, and show your courage. You find a tall place and you jump off the tall place. Like, it kind of spoke for itself. Of, I felt like it was the most straightforward of all the riddles, for what it's worth. But... <laughs> I'm surprised the slippery edge wasn't used. Like, to me, that was such a clear hint. Alright, I have no idea why I did that, but some god dared me, so... She and the... Oh no, that door opened. Right, oh, 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 oh. Yeah, Osir Osiris isn't one of the people in the Land of the Dead, right? Like, there's a bunch of Egyptian people there. Turn around, something, help! Death Zone! Hi, Osiris. You're like... <laughs> Man, Lumisa is very straightforward, really greedy. Give me some treasure! Wow. Oh, I'm opening way too much at once. Okay, so now I think I can fight the big boss of treetops. I just bring that to... What's his face? His wife. Tell me about a fifth children! Uh-huh. How about the sky of the aliens that brought Shiva and friends? Uh, it was mother. That's kind of interesting. Like, this, this, this Earth would have been colonized by aliens, but the mother was there. That was like, oh, well, never mind then. I'm good. Uh, Hopefully I'll survive to a door. Uh, yeah. Just be careful. Like, you don't have to get hurt. You don't have to make bad decisions. I mean, not having to never stop you, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm aware of it now, but... Let's make an exception for once. And I think that's gonna dump me in the lava. No one's gonna dump me right here. So... I got the... <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hey. Isn't that fancy? This is too much. This is overwhelming. I got... I got three cogs and, and a scythe. They all walk into a bar. 
They're inanimate object though, so they just kind of make a mess on the floor. And the owner is really just kind of annoyed. What kind of episode was this? I don't know. I'm not sure. But here we are. Tomorrow, I've, I've got my pick of what I want to do. 